Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play SteamWorld Dig 2. We're finishing up. This will be the last video in this Let's Play. We're going through the artifacts. Wagon Wheel. Through wind and rain, many southbound small town bots defied their fears. Most of these big city dreams of fortune and glory ended up unfulfilled, buried beneath the burning dunes of the West Desert. The way of the pioneer is always rough. Toy Rocket. Follow the moon rivers with a huckleberry friend. Who knows what's waiting around the bend? Increa Product Manual. This build-it-yourself ap apparatus used to be essential for enhancing mining equipment. The name printed on the device sounded le either like nonsensical drivel or a curse from a cold northern kingdom. The 30-day return policy excludes free shipping, but also includes a complimentary smirk. Holy Toast. You know how the universe sometimes tries to send us subtle messages through the most mundane of commodities? This is not one of those objects. Bready for a sour uh, a sour prize? Donut talk to me. Loaf me alone. Piece of red cloth. Rugged and tightly woven. Must have must have torn in some intense struggle. Looks like typical western neckwear. Pioneers are much like turtles, making grand progress when they stick their necks out. Birdie num num seeds. Famous for turning each feeding into a party. With these rare delicacies, it's really a seller's market. A bird in the hand is worth nothing unless somebody wants to buy it. Glowing goo. This looks so out of this world slimy, so resist any urge to put it in your mouth. Steve, don't eat it! Monster face plushie. A sleepy time kitty plushie. Hmm, the choking hazard warning seems to be written in Sumerian, Egyptian, Akkadian, and a bunch of other ancient languages. I, you know what? Like... I see Cthulhu in the middle of all that. And, uh, Relay. Relay. Or whatever the name of the city Cthulhu lives in is. Rejected building plans. Someone sure got creative when turning this down. But then again, would you rather have A, a house built on a fault line that will surely crush your dreams when you least expect it, or B, a pretty darn good origami ostrich? No building, no cry. With regards from the El Machino surveying office. Sacred documentation. Moving images that define the future of pop culture for dem for generations. The hardest plots of life can all be solved with a shower. Okay, here's the thing. Like, this is one of the weirdest jokes ever. Um, but, like, okay. So, it obviously, like, like the, sh the thing we're looking at says Dallas, but, like, missing an L. And in the show Dallas, which was, like, a huge popular soap opera when I was growing up. It was like, it was, I think it was like a prime time soap opera. They did a character leave um, for a couple, I think for a couple years, and then they just wrote him back in by somebody like, walking into the shower, and he was there in the shower at the end of a season, and they were like, oh, and it was all a dream that they were gone. And it's like, a, it's a super famous plot twist, right? But not something that um, the average aged viewer of my channel would probably get. It was referenced, I believe, in Family Guy as well. Um, yeah, but anyway. Uh, Amigo figurine. Only those highly revered among the temple priests were allowed to lend their visage to the ancient, cra ancient craftsmen and holy sculptors. This er-glorious action figure must indeed represent a truly worshipped and supreme being. Warning, choking hazard, figurine contains a certain air of pompousness. Yellow pills. Yellow and small, just like pills should look, the handwritten prescription simply says Dr. Schwester and displays a thumbs up. Just what the doctor ordered. Still life, still hope. Would you say that this painting is emotions processed through a moment of creative thought, or just that it's fine? Either way, a world without art would be a pale and pitiful place to live. The earth without art is just eh. Bowl of cereal. Once the most important meal of the day, now the dried remains of a lost world. History will be kind to me, for I intend to eat it. Bag of Rubber Chickens. Escaping this bag is a cacophony of cackles, clang, and clamor composed by simple three-part harmonies. The ruckus seems to be at the crossroads. Like poultry to my ears. Scented Candle. The prominent shape of a Capra skull, emitting an aroma of fear, imminent destruction, and... <laughs> Is that vanilla? The urge to destroy is also a creative urge. 
fire token. The glyphs on this ancient tablet depict the temple's original founders as a human fire cult. Pretty hot bunch. Where there is no temple, there shall be no homes. Cake. Truth of the day. There's nothing like a good cake. Bring your good times and your laughters too. Or and your laughter too. And then proof of completion. We apologize for the inconvenience. As they say in good old Sweden, Diskava gat agrava. Now, uh, I want to show the 43rd artifact to this guy, see if he says anything. Oh my, spin me around and pinch me so that I, so I know that I'm awake. You've actually located the mythical 43rd precious artifact. How I've dreamed of this. My family has been looking for this thing for generations. I cannot wait to feast my eyes upon it. Wait. That's it? This is so... So... Disappointing. Well, thank you, I guess. My life feels so meaningless now. <laughs> we can fly literally forever. There's the top of the screen. Let's take the fall damage. We probably want to do that over here, though. Oh, yeah. That's good fall damage. We can't hurt ourselves in town, really, so... Oh, I guess we could sell our stuff, too. We didn't need to, but... <laughs> wow, we could actually... I mean, at 130, it's like... <sighs> I mean, if we got something like 20 of those things, we could buy that last upgrade cog and see if that's actually the last one. But, I mean, we don't really need it uh, for any reason at all. But there was something I was thinking about that I needed to do. What was it, though? What was it? Oh yeah, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I, I know what I need to do. I need to actually look at SteamWorld Dig trophies because there's a hidden one. So, um, what we're going to do in the actual video, though, is we're going to pop out into the trophy menu. And we'll get ready to look at those. And then we'll see what the trophies actually are. Okay. Uh, so, a miner you were meant to be, which is the platinum trophy or the gold or whatever. Uh, defeat the first boss, Guiding Light. A mysterious garden, enter Yarrow and discover a strangely verdant area. Shining City, discover the last refuge of a fallen civilization, the Oasis. The Enlightened, defeat the Great Prophet. Ghost of the Machine, escape the grasp of Vectron. A new frontier, leave the Earth with your companion in tow. Speedrunner, finish the game with a gold star in the time category. How fast is that exactly? It's 4 hours and three, 30 minutes, I think. Um. Oh man, I ended up on regular SteamWorld dig. Finish the game with a gold star in the secrets category, which is all the secrets. Finish the game with a gold star in the deaths category. You can't even die once, buddy. And we did that. Finish the game with a gold star in the wealth category. Get filthy rich. The impossible dream. Finish the game with a gold star in every category. Maximum potential. Reach experience level 14. O oh, brother, where art thou? Find all missing Yonker brothers. Hobbyist collector. Collect 10 artifacts. Skilled collector. Collect 25 artifacts. Master Collector, collect all artifacts. It makes the world go round. Sell $2,500 worth of resources. Barticles BFF, sell resources for 10000 
My very own son, upgrade your lamp to the highest level possible. Is it even a pickaxe anymore? Upgrade your pickaxe to the highest level possible. Hard carry, upgrade your backpack to the highest level possible. That's armory, upgrade your armor to the highest level possible. Hopeless gearhead, reach highest upgrade level on all tools. Hook, line, and sinker, collect 15 resources with your hook shot. Not a hard one to get, we just didn't. Friendly neighborhood spider bot, hit 15 flyers with your hook shot. Two birds, one stone, kill two enemies with one crushing rock. Cave Diver, complete 5 caves. Splendiferous Splunker, complete 20 caves. At least it's shiny. Collect 10 silver ore resources. Huh, I don't understand. Oh, okay. So there's one here. It, I think this is uh, this is solid sneak. Um, do not trigger the alarm in Vectron more than twice. Sequence breaker. Destroy all devices without entering Vectron, and we did that. Right back at you. Kill an enemy with its own projectile. Lazy person. Travel a distance of 100 tiles horizontally without touching the controls. And to hell and back. Survive the ultimate trial. So there. So the one we didn't get was don't trigger the alarm in Vectron more than twice. And it's a hidden trophy. So, um, probably pretty doable. I think it's... I, I think you... I think at your worst, you trigger it three times. So you've just got to get past them once, really. Collect 15 resources with your hookshot's really easy. Um, we could have done that if we had been kind of more... Uh, on it, I guess. The Impossible Dream. Finish the game with a gold star in every category means that, yeah, you have to... Like, you have to do the time one. And like I said, I think it's four and a half hours. But, like, yikes! It was... it's It would be so hard because, like, you have to get the gold star in the secrets category. Which is not a thing we have done. And if we went and beat the game again, we still wouldn't have done it. You really have to get 100% of secrets out of all maps. And I have no idea how to do that. It's easy to figure out how to do the caves. But finding everything on the map, because it counts certain special resources... So if there's a an upgrade cog on the map that counts, or if there's like a you know a diamond in an area that doesn't where diamonds are super expensive, like that counts, and that's really hard. Like I'm not saying that I'm not saying that that getting the explorer trophy wouldn't be easy. Like because we could I could like I said we could just go back, and I could I could use the grenade launcher and just blow away everything. In areas and thereby probably find everything in the areas right the problem is finishing the game with a gold star in every category so getting enough money would probably not be a problem if you got all the secrets but doing it without dying once in under four and a half hours and every attempt that you failed would be just a little over four and a half hours or maybe five hours and that's just rough the two and a half hour grind was rough like it was really rough for steam world dig so I'm not gonna be doing this so we left it with these open. And remember, this one is uh, this one is just don't trigger the alarm in Vectron more than twice. Um, so, I mean, I think really Sequence Breaker was the hardest one we showed how to get. I think a lot of these will happen uh, automatically for you. Like, I don't think like, killing an enemy with its own projectile will actually happen with those spear guys. Uh, and Aramid Armor, because that's how it happened to me. This is uh, a little rough, but we showed it. And then kind of everything else, like I said, um, I don't think that, uh, I, I just don't think that this is real, that, like, I don't think the impossible dream is realistic for me. Um, certainly people have done it, it is a trophy people have, uh, but I just think the time it would be, because it took me something like 15 hours of attempts at SteamWorld Dig 1 before I got my first all four star playthrough, and that was two hours shorter. So, the plan is here. First off, SteamWorld Dig 2 is a lot of fun. It's funner than SteamWorld Dig. It does a really good job of being a very full and amazing sequel. I really like the game. I couldn't suggest it enough. Um, if you enjoy the kind of thing like going for the Impossible Dream, I can see it being fun. I mean, I had a lot of fun going for the SteamWorld Dig 1 um, trophy. And once I got it, it wasn't hard to get it again for the Let's Play. But, 
Um, yeah, this game has a lot of fun mechanics. It has a lot of... Because, like, I'm thinking after I shut this off and I'm done with the LP, I actually am going to take the grenade launcher and blow up, like, everything and just see if I can get all of the... Like, just for the fun of it, to see if I can get everything out of every area. And, uh... But I'm not going to beat the game again to get the trophy. So, um, yeah, it's... It, like, it's a cool game. It's a super cool game. It's a lot of fun. It's just a lot better than the first game. And the first game was really cool. So, uh, yeah, I strongly suggest this game. Now, as far as the channel goes, I'm not planning on replacing this game right away. I'm going to run Harry Potter down. And then I think we're going to drop down to two Let's Plays for a while. And just be doing every other video. Because I'm also trying to run occasional live streams. And I'd like to put some effort into that. You could check out the live streams under the Live tab. Um, you can check out the VODs. I'm trying to keep the live streams kind of segmented so they can be watched like longer Let's Play episodes. And so you can see we did uh, we did Pokemon Red uh, already in there. And uh, right now we're working on Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. We're on episode 3. So if that stuff interests you, you like hop on over there. Uh, you can check the live streams out. Um, I don't really have a good set schedule for them yet. Um, maybe I'll think of something. I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, so don't expect a uh, Let's Play to replace this right away. Um, we'll just be getting, instead of getting Harry Potter two days out of three, we'll be getting it every other day, opposite Final Fantasy 2. And Final, or Final Fantasy X2. And Final Fantasy X2 is going to go on for a while. So, uh, that'll be that, and, uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. And when we come back, uh, more of something else. Bye, everybody.